Hello, this is Geotech Land, and today I'll be playing Tales of Zillia for or on the RPCS3 emulator. I've done a video on this before, and there are several bugs here and there. I said it was either between playable and somewhat playable, and it's been a few months since, so. We're going to see what has been updated here. And so compatibility in game. So it's definitely not considered playable by the RPCS3 team. And I'll be using version 0 0.0.56592. And you can probably tell by all these uh, little errors here and there. As I was just playing it that it's probably not going to load uh perfectly here and so the probably the biggest difference here is that the text has been fixed here so now i can actually see what i'm doing and that's always refreshing and of course i'll be using the vulcan api and this scene is just a cutscene you guys saw last time in the last video and it's just always at 23 24 uh, frames per second there so I can just skip that I'll still be picking Mila here just because uh, I guess the intro scene with this character um, I guess you could consider it my benchmark um, I mean if you guys want to see the intro with the other character let me know And so this scene, this scene is still, I, I, guess, I guess overall, it's still, it's a little bit faster, maybe a couple frames per second faster, but it still has its uh, issues here. It does dip more or less to around the same value here, 2021. 20, In some cases, it'll dip a little bit even more below that. this scene or parts of the scene are still without sound or at least at certain places sound doesn't appear to be there Interestingly enough, I could have sworn there were subtitles the first time I played it, so oh, I guess I shut it off when I paused it, right? I probably did. I think I totally removed subtitles in the beginning. そこで何をしてた。探って。僕は探る。ただ落とし物を拾おうとして。何するつもり?すぐに警備員が来るよ。なのでそれより君は早く帰るといい。Alright, I'm going in. Okay, so subtitles are here. So maybe there's a glitch as well with subtitles that in that first scene they didn't load for whatever reason. Oh, 
Yes, like I said last time, I think that's enough talk. <laughs> Until, hey, look, this looks good there. That's another part that was just coming out bizarre. Alright, so more or less this scene runs at about the same as I can remember. This little check and what I acquire finally loads and looks nice there. So again, a very little thing, but it does make a big difference throughout the game. Because um, I would imagine it is very important what items you're picking up. So this is going to be the first battle. I think I'm gonna skip skip that. It's not really important. And I do want to show you or take you guys a little bit further than I took you guys last time. There's a pretty epic battle. And hey look, I finally know what this says. And I just like I figured it says skip. So pressing circle on my controller brings out or summons that beast there. Kind of makes the, the battle quicker instead of me hacking away. Galled. So, hey, look, I can see the items here. So, that's nice. And what's this? Cool, I got a key. Okay, I forgot which way I'm supposed to go. Am I going the right way? I'm lost now. Okay, so this is a save. Hey look, the save works. Why not? Looks very... Or it's a nice design UI interface there. Second boss. Not much to say, right? He's just standing there. No, I would not. So yeah, um, if you've noticed in the last battle, the battles themselves seem to load pretty slow. So again, that's kind of one reason why I consider it below playable and I guess that's why RPCS3 considers it below playable by slapping the in-game label on it. So I hadn't really, I didn't go, the, or I didn't climb this ladder in the previous video. So I didn't get to see this beautiful palace, it seems. Kind of reminds me of um previous game I played it, uh, a JRPG that I hosted on this or featured in one of my videos. I'm trying to remember the name, I think it was... Definitely was a dolphin emulator game. And I'm running away from these dudes. Let's get this treasure chest. Alright. Life bottle. That should come in handy. So I've never been in here. Well, I've never seen this part if you've watched my videos here. And we've got some some baddie here. Just realized they have really interesting outfits. This guy's no fun. I'll kill you first. Oh no, she didn't. Knocked her down. Oh, 
Two pieces. These two characters would be fun to cosplay with, I'm sure. I'm just gonna summon my beast here. Oh, did I just miss? Uh, I think I just ran right into that. Hey, come give me some backup, please. I'm just gonna cheat and summon the beast and let him do all the fighting. Knocked her down again. So yes, uh, this scene is also... It, it's kind of hovering. It goes from like 19 to like 26. But it really feels a lot slower than that. As you guys can see, they kind of appear to stand at times there. Well, that did her in. That was quick and easy. And so, there you guys have it. Uh, me personally, I think, based on this scene, this benchmark, I would say the game is still below playable. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up or a like. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.